let's go to your phone calls. We got Leanne McAdoo coming up to give you the rest of the story on the child sex traffic going on in this country and all over the world. Truth is, the governments are only controlling it and knocking out their competition. And governments and contractor groups are on record running the torture and murder of children. So I thought I would uh, remind everybody about some of that. You can always look up the congressional hearings on it to find out just exactly who runs things. Uh, but let's go ahead now. And uh, yeah, denying this stuff's not going to save us, folks. We got to admit the truth. Let's go to your phone calls. Ernest in Washington, you're on the air. Welcome. Uh, hello, Alex. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, well, let's see. First of all, I want to thank you so much for the Tangy Tangerine 2.0. I'm a 55-year-old newlywed. My wife and I have both been taking uh, Vicodin for years for our back. She has arthritis. I was in a car wreck. Within 10 days of taking the Tangy Tangerine 2.0, I was not taking any pain medicine whatsoever. So thank you so much. Well, thank you, brother. And uh, the reason I was calling is I hope you can help me with uh, relieving my heartache every day that I wake up. Ever since I saw the broadcast by the BBC of the World Trade Center 7 building collapsing, uh, which it didn't uh, at the time they were reporting it, somewhere down the line someone had to hand that reporter a script, and that script had to come from somewhere up above. Oh, no, we know where it came from. Uh, we first broke when they uh, uploaded the archives on the BBC of their two channels saying, Building 7 has fallen in its own footprint from fire 26 minutes before it fell. Turned out CNN had done it an hour before, and I predicted it would be Reuters because I found out Reuters fed them their scripts, and they just jumped the gun with the cover story early. And then we even have cops saying, get back, they're going to blow it up. And I'm not saying the cops were involved. They just were told, get back, they're going to blow it up, and they did blow it up. And it was CIA headquarters, I should add. And uh, So, yeah, no, I mean, they said they blew it up, but uh, that's that's what they do. Mm -hmm. down the chain there had to have uh, knowledge, and that is conspiracy. I'm not a policeman or anything, but it's a clear case of conspiracy, and there should be an easy trail to follow to where that information came from. Why hasn't that been done? I tried to get a hold of Greg Pallast, and I thought maybe you could talk to Mike Zillow about it. Well, listen, uh, you know, I've made three films that Building 7's in, and I have talked about it, and we've got YouTube videos with millions of views, you know, people looking at it, and... Uh, it's the third building that fell that day, and I was driving to get a pizza at, at like 4, 425 Central, 525 Eastern when it supposedly fell. And I heard CBS Radio, back when they still had CBS Radio, I guess I think they still have it, but it was on local station, say that the decision's been made for the controlled demolition. And people heard it on NPR, and now all those tapes have been found. And when you bring it up, they go, no, that was never on the news. And you're like, we have the video. And the BBC first said, no, that's not real video. Then they admitted it was real video. Then they said, yeah, we were told by Reuters it had fallen. So Reuters uh, did that. And uh, and then even uh, the owner of the building who bought it a few months before and wants, and he's made like $8 billion, he wants billions more now for a $100 million investment. Um, he has, uh, Larry Silverstein has come out and, you know, said, well, you know, we gave the order to pull it and then uh, watch the building come down. And then we have the same PBS documentary where they're blowing up the wreckage of the other building saying, getting ready to pull building six. And then they blow it up. So, yeah, I mean, they blew it up in front of everybody. Kind of like uh, the uh, globalist, uh, you know, stage all this other stuff. And that's just the way it is. What do you think about that? Well, like I say, I think there should be a way to follow the trail to find out where that information came from. Reuters, who in Reuters did it? Uh, you know, there's got to be certain individuals that are responsible for this. Well, sir, I just suggest you take more vaccines and drink more fluoride water and snort depleted uranium because they say it's good for you. I'm being sarcastic. I mean, I just think the government loves us. And, uh, you know, so what if they blow up the building? So what if we had the emergency management deputy head on saying they blew it up and then two weeks later he died? And the family was threatened. I mean, everything's okay. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. We're going to get into a report on the FBI sweeping child prostitution rings up around the country, but putting the kids right back with the foster homes that we've seen over and over again are the ones pimping the kids out. And you can pull up where there's thousands of missing kids per state CPS has had. I mean, it's just unbelievable.
because that's the type of people that want to be in control of the kids. I mean, that's just a fact. Uh, and unfortunately, the NSA grid isn't going to protect those children. And these are kill kids that the government couldn't get aborted and couldn't sell their body parts for $10,000 a piece, as we covered yesterday. And they're just upset, so they want to kill their soul as fast as possible. Let's talk to Frank in North Carolina. Frank, you're on the air. Uh, welcome. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Uh, good tool out there in the ho out of the Hollywood pop, waking, uh, waking up, I think, young veterans in particular. And I think you referenced the movie yesterday. I, I don't know if I've ever heard you reference it before, but uh, I think you actually uh, said that the, the name of the movie was The Shooter, but it's Shooter from 2007. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg, we put it on screen. We put the IMDb up. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if you'd critique that movie. I know you like to critique, you know, movies that uh, put out a lot of truth in a fictional setting. No, I need to do that. That's a good idea. You know, I tend to review films that are coming out or have just come out just because there's more interest in it, and then we can reach more people. But, yeah, um, the, the, the film is absolutely anti-New World Order, shows a false flag, uh, talks about the government killing Kennedy, talks about how the corporate combines work. It's, it's a really first-rate film. First rate all the way, and it gets out a lot of truth. Can I give a quick shout out to our local mainstream radio guy here? He's a big fan of yours. Sure. He's been plugging your show for years. Sure, great. Uh, Keith Larson in Charlotte, North Carolina, at a 50,000 watt station, WBT, uh, 11, 10 a.m. He's a big fan. He's been plugging Infowars.com for years, and he's a big fan of yours. So. Well, thank you. I'm a fan of all the folks out there fighting for freedom because we're in big trouble. All right, thanks. Thank you, Frank. Good to hear from you, brother. Bo. In Virginia, you're on the air. Go ahead, Bo. Uh, yes, Alex. It's good to talk to you. I've uh, finally been awake, awake since about April of this year, and I had a question about the anonymous and if that is a CIA psyop or if it's real or what you can tell me about it. Specifically, quantify that. What's your question? I'm sorry. About the anonymous. Uh, I've you seen them on YouTube. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, look, 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 anonymous could be anybody. I could go do a video and say it was anonymous. Uh, and then it's a perfect cutout for government to do bad things and then say it's anonymous. But anonymous just means lone wolf. I'm doing something and not asking for credit for it. Uh, and so I think there's a lot of good people operating as anonymous. There's also globalists doing bad things, trying to then false flag anonymous. But as long as you're aware of the real code of real anonymous, open information, liberty, freedom, justice, the things that Adam Schwartz stood for, it was really part of anonymous. You know, they murdered him. And they came and you know, killed him uh, because he was fighting him and exposing him and helped kill CISPA and uh, some of the other uh, uh, internet freedom killing things. So I overall support anonymous, but, but I support actions of anonymous. It, it should be called individual. Anonymous, because it really means individual, lone wolf individual. I support the ethical operations of anonymous, but anonymous is inherently diversified and is inherently individuals. So it's not one group. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, I understand. Okay, I have one more little point I need to, to make with you. Uh, I was born with Huntington's disease, and uh, of course, uh, it, it's. Uh, it's a malformed chromosome of the brain, and as you get older, uh, you kind of imagine, you see things. And with this disease, I'm having a very, very hard time getting the word out because they all think I'm losing my mind. And That sounds uh, kind of like people pay to get drugs to be able to do that. I'm, I'm not being sarcastic, but kind of make uh, lemonade with the lemons. What kind of stuff do you see? Well, uh, it's just started on me. Uh, it always uh, in our family and males. It starts about.